How's my hair? Yeah, it looks nice. You sure? Looks fine. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. It's gonna come soon. Come on, what is that? What? You made me waste two megabytes. Just trying to make it fun. You're missing the point, two megabytes. You just wasted two megabytes. Sit down. We're taking pictures for thumbnails. You understand that? We're taking pictures like we're friends. Just act like you like me, all right? We're friends, we're viewing movies together as friends, all right? We review movies together as friends. Reviewing movies together. That's what we do, all right? Reviewing movies together as friends. Just act like you like me. No bullshit faces. It's so weird. Yeah, okay, right, let's, let's go. I don't want to waste another two megabytes. You yeah, ready? I'll do my best. We're reviewing movies together as friends. Reviewing movies. All right? What are you doing? What? Don't touch me. What do you mean? I'm just trying to make it fun. We're the kind of friends that don't touch each other. We like each other a lot, but we don't touch each other, all right? We review movies together, but we don't touch each other. Let's try something different. Let's try a different background, okay? Let's try, uh, let's try the VHS, right? This is the VHS period, all right? Just don't touch me, but act like you like me. We're friends, reviewing movies together as friends. Who review movies together, taking thumbnails as friends, all right? All right, let's go. Okay, let's see how that looks. Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Death Ship Glacier Smash IPA. <laughs> All right. Today we have a request from our very good friend Mark Miller, and he wanted us to review 2010's Rubber. Rubber was directed by uh, Quentin Dupio, and he's also a DJ. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Oizo is his name. <laughs> <laughs> this movie stars Robert the Tire. Also, Roxanne Mesquita is in this. And Wings Hauser. He was in tons of movies, but he was in one movie we covered, Mutant. Yep, click the link above. And Stefan Spinella is in this, and he's in one of our favorite movies of all time. We reviewed this one years ago, yeah. Ravenous. <laughs> Stu a la Major Knox. And he plays Major Knox. <laughs> the movie starts off, there's all these chairs set up in the desert, and this car comes and knocks over all of the chairs, and then the car pulls to the side, and this guy gets out, this sheriff guy gets out of the trunk, he proceeds to tell a whole monologue about no reason. All of your favorite movies, basically, there is an element of no reason. After when he's done his monologue, he just gets back into the trunk and then they drive <laughs> away. It pans over and we see spectators that are, they're waiting and they have binoculars and they're waiting for something. This tire starts to kind of spin in the dirt, it slowly kind of sits up and sort of rocks back and forth and it's kind of wobbly a little bit, but it gets going on its own, <laughs> starts moving. It comes across this bottle and it's sort of not sure, right? Runs over the bottle. The tire then comes across a scorpion and it stops again, kind of assesses the situation a little bit and then runs over the scorpion, killing it. He comes across this bottle and he backs over it and you can see, you could tell the tire's getting all frustrated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's all mad and everything, and the tire starts all fluttering and boom, this glass bottle explodes. So the tire eventually gets to the highway, and this car goes by with this woman, starts to do this fluttering thing again and knocks the power out of the vehicle. And there's this truck behind him that runs him over and the tire goes into the ditch, royally pissed off and follows this fucking guy to the gas station. You see the tire down. Yeah, it's, all, it's all waiting yeah. and mad. So he starts doing that fluttering thing again and his head explodes. Infatuated with this woman, I guess, and follows her to this motel. 
and decides to get a room too. <laughs> and we see the tire like just chilling out in this armchair watching TV. Next day, the maid comes in to clean up this room. And here's a water running, <laughs> opens up the shower curtain. The tire's all there <laughs> taking a shower. And she's like, ah, who, what kind of practical joke is this? Who left this here? She takes a tire and hucks it out the door. <laughs> They're fuckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's all mad. Tire is pretty pissed off. He just got <laughs> thrown out of its own room, so it comes back and kills the maid, yeah. makes the maid all explode. <laughs> it then cuts to these spectators again. They're watching with these binoculars. They're all getting hungry. They've been like two days in the <laughs> desert with no yeah. food, watching this tire with these binoculars. And so this guy shows up with this turkey he cooked. <laughs> just a whole, whole turkey. <laughs> and they're all ravenous, so they all start eating the turkey and tearing it to bits and oh I just ate that turkey too quick and <laughs> but they all got poisoned and they start yeah. like dying and vomiting and except for Wings Hauser's character this guy in this wheelchair is just like told you not to eat the turkey yeah yeah poison they poisoned the turkey yeah. y'all know <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the cops show up at this motel because the maid is dead and they're doing their investigation and the lieutenant is that guy from the beginning that got out of the trunk and had the big spiel about no reason. He starts telling all the other cops, well, you know, this isn't really happening. This isn't real. None of this is real. They're like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, shoot me. I'll prove it. I'll prove it's not real. Hesitant, of <laughs> course, to shoot their lieutenant, but yeah. enough coaxing. He pulls out the gun and shoots him. He's like, see, I'm fine. It's not real. And shoots him a bunch of times. and. They're all okay. Then he goes and like chills out by the pool with the owner of the motel. Well, the tire just kind of rolls <laughs> on by and like rum, 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 it starts doing its <laughs> fluttering thing and makes the hotel owner's head explode. So now the cop's like, oh, okay, I know who the culprit is here. It's this tire. <laughs> <laughs> so that gets a big team together and they go and hunt down this tire. You haven't got a police force. <laughs> And that's where we're going to end the plot. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see how Rubber ends, well, keep watching the movie and keep watching this review. So the first thing we're going to mention is the idea for this movie, the whole encompassing idea, this inanimate object that has no real value to it or anything, and it comes to life. Sounds like such a stupid idea, right? This tire yeah. that comes to life and starts killing people. You really believe in this tire yeah. like because you watch it go from inanimate to raising up and then it's kind of all it's all wobbly wobbly and you kind of watch it find its legs and build its confidence like it's kind of brilliant the way they shot those first few minutes where it's like you legitimately yeah. but like it's it's just like watching a character in a movie they turn yeah. this tire into a legit character that you feel for yeah and i get the and sense that you root that, for yeah exactly and i I get the sense too that the tire is sort of like a baby. So it's, yeah. you know, at first it's it, it's born, yeah. kind of wakes up, it's finding its legs, finding his way in the world. He gets frustrated. He doesn't yeah. know what to do, so he destroys it. But then later, as the tire has sort of learned his way in the world, it's when he doesn't get his way. Yeah. He, it's almost like he's throwing a tantrum. He's a brat. He's a yeah, guy. he's a brat. Yeah. So, yeah. so he kills them. The movie looks great too. Like the production value is fantastic. All the shots too, all the desert scenic panoramic shots are awesome. Yeah, it's, the cinematography is fantastic. Yeah, the settings too, yeah. right? Like the the gas station setting, the uh, the whole the whole hotel setting is yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, they're all yeah. It, it looks great. Like it's for with a movie with such a stupid fucking premise. <laughs> It looks fantastic. Yeah, it's, it looks like it has a big budget. Yeah, it's such a weird movie. Like, I've never seen a movie with such a silly premise with such good filmmaking. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. and acting, you know? They put their heart and soul yeah. into it. I mean, the effects are great. Like, yeah. it really is like watching a magician. And this is where movies with CGI are boring. Because you see CGI and you know, well, how did they do it? Well, they did it with CGI. There's yeah. no mystery. There's no in intrigue with CGI. With a movie like this where it's a legit tire and you see it 
rolling through the desert and stomping and doing and wobbling yeah. and doing these things and you're like it's like watching a, a magician you're like yeah. how did they do that yeah it's obviously remote controlled somehow yeah. but how did they make it turn because yeah. you don't see i looked i tried looking for like little wheels or something but then you could you would see the slits in it yeah. as the tires rotating so how did they do it yeah it's yeah it, it is brilliant the <laughs> yeah. way they practically made this tire move throughout the whole movie and all the other effects of the heads exploding all that stuff it looks practical and it looks great yeah and yep. it's believable and i and this is probably the first movie i've seen in a long time even though the movie's like fucking 13 years old it got me it's like how did they do that mm -hmm. that movie magic here like as this as the tire is rolling yeah. through the sand and everything you hear the that hollow rubber sound yeah grinding and uh a lot of like just a lot of the other sound effects that they use it's like you're um they're trying to get in tune with all of your senses yeah. for this movie and the music is good too and it, it's kind of goofy but it yeah. works like all this kind of nice music in the beginning while it's rolling through the desert <laughs> it's kind of like soothing and it is a really cool movie with a cool premise that they really pulled off really well yeah but there's some problems we had with this movie too bad because this movie <laughs> could have been great and the issue is it's kind of two movies in one yeah yeah and they kind of blow their load early sort of telling you that this like, what this movie is yeah that basically there's no reason for any of this yeah don't believe it essentially it didn't need that it no. didn't need that opening monologue telling you basically what you can figure out for yourself and the whole thing with the spectators like i i know where they were going they're kind of trying to do something cool and different i kind of got the idea that they're like doing the modern version of the Greek tragedy. It hurt the movie because you get invested in this tire. <laughs> yeah. You do, you legitimately get invested in this fucking tire. But then when it cuts to the spectator thing, you're like, you get taken out of that. It's like, no, I don't want to be taken out of the tire storyline. I want more tire. Yeah, they Give didn't... me more tire. They didn't use the tire enough or in in a real cool way right yeah they, the, the, the kills are all the same yeah, yeah like like i wanted to see the tire going into people's heads and uh, shit yeah. like that and fucking i was <laughs> i was hoping for like the tire to get real pissed off and start spinning spin, yeah. yeah just and then go, <laughs> go into somebody cut somebody in half something like that I wanted to see the tires spin into somebody's chest like a fucking uh, saw blade. Yeah, stuff you know? like that, yeah. <laughs> but it was all just heads exploding. And, and, yeah. and after a while, that got boring and tiring. It's like, well, it got tiring. <laughs> 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 that's a fucking dad joke for you. You get halfway into the movie, you know that that's all the tires going to do. Is exactly. make the heads explode and it's not going to do anything more. Yeah. So you're not expecting anymore, and they don't give you anymore, yeah. right? So it's like, yeah, they could have used the tire in so many different ways to do some cool kills, and they just didn't go there. Spent far too much time yeah. explaining and having this other meta-type shit. You already have a cool premise. It's a killer tire. Yeah. Run with that. Yeah. It's it, all you need to do. Yeah, it's really too bad. They would have just concentrated on the tire storyline. I think this movie would probably be more well known and more a bit of a cult classic than it is the spectator scenes are good good on their own yeah but in this movie it's like like we said it's like two movies shoved into one it's this movie about these spectators and it's a movie about a tire mm -hmm. and they don't they, they connect but they don't connect well enough I don't really care. I just yeah. want to see the tire fucking <laughs> go ape shit. Yeah, here, exactly. You know, you know? Like... and the acting in this movie is really damn good. Like everyone is good in it. Mm -hmm. You believe everybody, despite it being a stupid fucking premise with this tire. Yeah, you believe that these cops are after a tire and they're <laughs> they really want to get it and they're invested in getting this fucking tire and yeah. They're all like in the spectators, the performance for all the spectators, as much as we didn't like that part of the movie, they're all really good. Yeah, exactly. You know, Wings Hauser is really good, and that weird guy that comes and gives him the turkey, like, <laughs> he has that big long monologue about his brother and stuff. And... Yeah, and then he's eating those eclairs, knowing that they're poison. Yeah, like, what the fuck? and then he has this big long death scene, which is really good. <laughs> 
the acting is great, but it's so unnecessary is the problem, you know? Yeah. So it's really too bad that some of this really good acting is wasted on these scenes that we could have done without. Mm -hmm. The comedy is good, yeah. right? But again, it's like the comedy, they're focusing too much where it's not supposed to be. The yeah. comedy should be the tire. It's the tire, yeah. It's not, I don't care about these spectator people, right? I care it's about like, the tire. Yeah, exactly. I want to see all of the funny stuff you guys can throw at the tire. Rubber is a very interesting movie. I definitely recommend that you watch it. It's definitely not for everybody. You'll either get it or you won't get it. Mm -hmm. But I, I have a feeling most people are going to be with us when it comes to... You know, you, you need more tire <laughs> in a movie called Rubber, you know? <laughs> Let us know what you think. I'm super curious to see what other people think of this movie, you know? I'm sure some people think it's brilliant. Some people might think it's complete garbage and bullshit. We're kind of in the middle because it is kind of brilliant, but it's also kind of bullshit too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a smart fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. but it's brilliant bullshit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> and until next time... Keep drinking.